All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Thank y'all so much for coming over, man. I could not believe this title here. Bow Wow complains about Diddy's parties being canceled after arrests. For those of you who don't know, Bow Wow started at a very, very, very young age. I think he was probably about 13 years old, discovered by Snoop Dogg. Uh, I wouldn't doubt if he was at those parties as well in his teens. I'm almost pretty sure of it, you know. But complain about the parties being canceled. I just want to know which ones did he go to, right? Or it actually don't matter. Because if you knew about the freak-offs, then you still associating your, yourself with him. Because they said it's, it's regular parties, then the, the, the after-dark parties. So if you know the after-the-dark parties are crazy and wild and all that, all this stuff is going on with all these victims coming out, but you still go on to the regular parties, that's an issue too. I don't think they're they're really grasping this, that they were hanging around this dude knowing what's going on. That's my intro. We ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Like BT Award Weekend, and then, and then like the past two, they just didn't feel right because there was no motion. There was no parties. There was nowhere to go. Bow Wow stirring controversy wow. over Diddy's arrest after complaining about the lack of parties. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak offs. Let's be very specific. We like, parties and freak offs. No, he was just such a gatekeeper for him. The, the, the liquor in the, the clubs, the, the, the mo like he was everything hip hop. Yeah. It just showed that we in a different era, a different time. Yeah, it's different times for the disgraced media mogul who's officially spent a month behind bars. Diddy planning to fight his sex trafficking and racketeering charges. Plus, the ever-growing allegations that associated with the so-called freak-offs. I think it's a, a very, very messed up situation. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, like, it's, it's, it, it's crazy. There's no parties. Every year, dude had the, he had the, and you feel it, it's like a hole. Cut to Bow Wow being taken to town. I d does he really understand what he's saying right now? I'm just thinking, like, what about all the victims? Like, he's complaining about there's no motion, you know? It, it just, there's a hole. What? <laughs> I'm I'm like really tripping out right now. This this goes to show you how much people don't care. Like he said, it's a mess up. It's like he said, it's messed up. But damn, man, ain't gonna be no like because of this, ain't gonna be no more parties. Like really think about that. And it's crazy too because I know I don't know how many kids he got, but I know he has a daughter. Ask on social media. After asking, where's the party on more to the story? Online critics firing off, Bow Wow is toned up. Exactly. He should have been disgusted by Diddy. And joking, the Like You singer is having freak off withdrawals. I'm talking about him as the, the, uh, the artist, uh, the, the person, yeah. right? How, in, how monumental and how important he was to the culture. It's sad and it's messed up that, you know, we got to witness this in this in this time the same day this interview dropped you guys have any comment going into court diddy's kids stepped out to support dad in court he believes he's innocent uh, i believe he's innocent a source tells et diddy being in jail has been a scary situation and he's hoping for any alternative to being in a jail cell for me thinking on it bro supposed to be on a 250 foot yacht and I think a lot of us probably never thought that we would see this. But for me, it's like, it's just, it's just unreal. I would never thought that it would, we would see him in this position, ever. So basically saying that's messed up that they, like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, sh I shouldn't be, I really shouldn't be. 
But I'm a little shocked that he literally got on a platform and said these things and they actually aired and uploaded this. I'm actually shocked because even her, Roxy said, let's get this straight. There's a difference between a party and a freak off. Like, I don't think they're understanding. Like, it don't matter if you were at the regular party. If you know, and I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they caught wind of what happens at these freak offs. And then Diddy throws a regular party and you go to that after knowing what's going on. So for him to be talking about how much he missed these parties and this and that, like I said, like, I'm going to compare him to probably Nick Cannon. Because what I said about Nick Cannon is, I know Nick Cannon was there to probably try to talk to all of these like to have all of these different girls in the room at the same time, as far as celebrities, like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say anybody names cause they may not have been there, but I'm just thinking about like the possibilities of who could have been there. And you're seeing all of them at the same time as a single guy. You're like, damn, you got, what's the name here? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? You know, uh, so my whole thing is like, he's probably looking at it from a standpoint of, dang, man, it was so many girls I used to get with and get their number and this and this and that and that. And when people say you're tone deaf, it's like you're not thinking about the victims, the 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 dark side of all this. You're just thinking about the fun you were having, you know? So my whole thing for him to come out and say that, very insensitive, you know, because you're not even, he didn't even mention, you know, like, oh, you know, normally people will say, you know, my heart goes out to all the victims or this and this and that. He ain't said nothing like that. He just talking about the hole in there and, you know, you go to these award shows and you're supposed to go to these after parties like they don't have them no more. That's what he's, that's crazy. That is absolute crazy. Like absolutely crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm just looking at some comments. Someone said WTF. Did he really? So, well, maybe they wrote it wrong, but someone said, did he basically saying, did he really just say what I think he said? Wow, man. This this might be one of the worst uh, ones I've seen as far as people talking. And, and <laughs> someone said, Bow Wow should have listened to Cat Williams. Yeah, man, that that's, that's actually crazy. Uh, I can't wait to see y'all comment on this video. Appreciate y'all coming over. Uh, appreciate y'all sending this link to me. Uh, I, I get a lot of messages on Instagram with people saying to check this out. I just can't believe he just said that, man. I shouldn't be surprised, but I actually, I'm more surprised that they uploaded it. All right, peace out.